hello guys welcome back to piping engineers so in today's video guys we will learn about the strainers and their types we will see what are the different types of strainers what are their uses in industry and why strainers are so important for our downstream networks so guys for better experience please watch this video at 1.5x speed so let's begin our today's learning journey and see what the different types of strainers and what are their uses in the industry so guys before starting the video the first question that i wanted to ask you all is what is a strainer so before going into the detailed video we need to know what a strainer actually is so strainer are basically uh, general fittings that are used for filtration purpose so basic use of a strainer is for the filtration purpose it's a type of a equipment that we use in our houses to filter the tea so they are used in separating the solid particles from the liquid so and this infused liquid if it is not filtered properly it may damage our downstream equipment because these solid particles may hit the equipment and they may they may fall inside it and they may damage the equipment so the infused liquid is passed through this removable screen so this sort of removable screen is basically uh, what we call strainer so this type of uh, infused liquid is passed through this removable screen which helps in collecting the particles so the particle size may be even of 0.001 inches so why so depending upon the type of fluid which we are uh, allowing it to move through this field moving through through the screen we have the different mesh sizes so you may see in this picture the holes of the strainer are bigger while on in this picture the holes are very tiny so based upon the type of solid particles that are present in the network we select the type of strainer uh, holes or, or strainer mesh size so strainer as i old earlier told you it protects the equipment and processes for harmful impacts so lowering maintenance and downtime so you know maintenance and downtime they are one of the cost eaters in our operational plants so to to remove this operation uh, to remove this downtime and to reduce the maintenance cost cycle and indeed to save our downstream equipment we place filters or strainers wherever it they are required so use of a rightly selected strainer at a current location is a must to protect expensive and critical downstream equipment such as pumps flow meters steam traps control walls etc so you know it here it is mentioned so the strainer shall be used at a correct location and not only at correct location your selection of strainer which indeed means the selection of correct selection of mesh size should be there and they should be placed at a correct position so that the downstream equipment can be saved from any damage or any solid particles that may enter if they are not purified or not filtered before the equipment so moving on to the next slide guys so yes in this slide as i already told you in today's video we will also see what are the different types of strainers so strainers uh, are basically uh, they are of three types one is your y type strainers uh, which is the one of the most important and normal strainer which you guys would have seen in your pumps and this how this is how a y type strainer looks like so it forms a it forms a horizontal y and in this y and in this stream the filter is placed so you can see the filter is placed here and the flow it moves through one side and it will pass through the filter and then it will go to the outlet side so this is your y type strainer next is guys your bucket type strainer so bucket here bucket refers to the bucket that we used in our households for different purposes so in bucket type we have two types of strainers one is your simplex type strainer and another is your duplex type strainer so in about these three strainers we will be learning about uh, in the detail in the next slides next is guys your temporary strainers so temporary strainers as the name suggests these are temporary type of strainers which are put across the equipments uh, during commissioning or maintenance phase so once the commissioning or maintenance is the over we remove these temporary strainers but these are also important you know to save the equipment from uh, solid debris or solid particles so the temporary strainers uh, one is your cone type strainer so as the name suggests uh, this looks like a cone so this is your cone type strainer second is your truncated cone type strainers so this is uh, how a truncated cone type strainer looks like so these type of strainers depending upon the requirement depending upon the use they are used across the industry and placed before the equipments so that they can provide uh, the requirements they can meet the requirements of the uh, industry so let's uh, study in detail what are the y type strainers and what are the different types of bucket type strainers so guys uh, this is y type strainers 
so y type strainer as i told you uh, why it is called y type strainer but because when it is when it is mounted in the equipment it forms a horizontal y so you can see it looks like a y so that is why we call it a y type strainer so these are low cost strainers and used with pressurized lines with low debris or foreign particle concentration so as i told you in for in case of pumps we generally go for y type strainers pumps i'm giving you one example but depending upon the uh, requirements many systems uses y type strainers because uh, where the pressurized lines are there people generally go for y type strainers so they can be you they can be installed in horizontal or vertical lines keeping filtering element towards the ground so they have this uh, liberty that they can be used wherever we want uh, maybe it's your horizontal line or vertical line y type strainers can be used the retaining capacity of y type strainers are small so they can be they must be cleaned frequently yes so because uh, their their retaining capacity is bits uh, bit less so we have to you know maintain them properly maintain them every time generally we put a differential transmitter across these strainers so which helps the, to tell that whether the clogging in the system is there or the or the or clogging in the strainer is there and with the help of this uh, dp or differential trans pressure transmitter we can we are able to know that this strainer uh, has been clotted and it needs to be purified or it needs to be removed or may be maintained so next is guys your simplex strainer so simplex as the name suggests simple so it is the it is the simple type strainer so simplex strainers are also the basic type of strainer they are used in industry so they consist of a single chamber with a removable screen or filter element so you can see in this figure uh, this is the chamber this circular part inside so this is the chamber and in this chamber this this is the strainer or the simplex strainer bucket which is put inside this uh, chamber so what happens in this case they are used where we can we can afford uh, if the system can be shuttered for some time to maintain this strainer so simplex strainers are designed for applications where temporary interruption of flow can be tolerated so they are typically used in systems that require occasional maintenance and where flow can be diverted during cleaning so there are some systems uh, you know which do not have much impurities and if they can be shut down they will not hamper the major operations of the plant so there we go for simplex type of strainers and in simplex type of strainer generally this bucket can be removed and the system flow can be diverted to some other line or bypass can be done so it will not impact the downstream equipments or downstream downstream uh, equipments so this type of strainers are known as simplex strainers uh, moving on to the next slide guys so next is duplex strainer so duplex strainer you can say it is a uh, you know it is a upgraded version of simplex strainer so in duplex strainer as the name suggests do so there are two chambers so you can see in this figure this is your one chamber and this is your next chamber and what is the speciality of this so with these two chambers these are connected with the help of a valve so you can see there is a valve at the top so what happens there are some equipments or some systems which cannot go for a shutdown so in that condition we need to have these duplex strainers so duplex strainers what they have they consist of a two chambers with valve arrangement i told you there is a valve that diverts flow between the chambers so you know if you if the if the bucket in one strainer one strainer has been you know clotted and it needs to undergo maintenance so with the help of this valve the flow is diverted to another chamber and the system is always running so in this case there will be no shutdown uh, even if the strainer you know uh, has some fouling or it it is it is having some uh, you know impurities in it so they can be used for isolation maintenance and ensuring uninterrupted flow so duplex strainers are used in critical applications where constant flow is required so i hope uh, you would have got something about y type strainers simplex strainers and more more over the last one duplex strainers so guys in today's video i hope you would have learned something for more videos please like channel like follow and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching the video